just two years later, Ford had produced 12,000 Model Ts for the public. But by 1917, his assembly process was in a league of its own. That 12 and a half hour assembly time, 750 minutes, had been slashed to just 93 minutes. Imagine that level of efficiency in the first decade of the 20th century. How could anyone possibly compete? They couldn't. By 1918, every other car on the road was a Ford Model T. Ford had become so dominant that he stopped buying advertising altogether. There was simply no need. When your car makes up half the entire market, you don't need to tell people about it. They already know, and they already want one. The Model T's overwhelming popularity came down to one simple factor, its price. 